I love listening to audiobooks in the car while I'm doing my chores, when I'm trying to get to sleep, and insomnia is haunting my brain. I can't read in silence. Silence drives me crazy. I need some sort of background noise. I read best in crowded, noisy places because I have the ability to mute everything around me. If you put me in a quiet room with just books, I will have a bit of a hard time trying to concentrate until I'm really into it. I hate deckled edges. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care that people say they're soft and that they're different and that they're nice to feel. I'd like everything to be cut the same size and have the, you know, that clean, precise cut of paper. And I, I can't, I can't, I can't do, I cannot do deckled edges. I just, I can't. It's not, it's not gonna work. I can't just sit down and read. I can never read in my free time because in my free time, I never want to read. I have yet to read 50 books in a single year, even though I have made very valiant and very close past attempts. I am so behind. I am 20 out of 50 books. That doesn't, ooh, this isn't going to look good for me. I tied with someone as my school's top reader. Reading. It's a cheap copper medal, but I love it. I love the smell of freshly printed books. I hate waxy jackets. Embossed text and well thought out and well planned covers are good. I avidly collect bookmarks. I think I have about 40 or so in this silver box and I might actually do a bookmark tour uh, in a later video, but for now, here is the latest edition. It's a clothing tag, but that's, that's, the, that's the thing. There are so many clothing tags that are really pretty and work very well as bookmarks. Like, you can find some great things in bookmarks. I make a custom playlist for every novel that I read that I'm really getting into. I can't stand damaged books. I do not like damaged books at all. Every little tear and crack and crinkle sets me off because I like the newness of books. I make sure to break in my hardcovers. Basically, in order to preserve the binding of hardback books, there is a way to sort of warm the book up for the amount of reading you'll be doing. I'll link a video to it below. I do not eat when I read. I don't understand how people can do this. I don't understand how people can eat when they read, when food is so close to books, and books easily stain. I, I don't, I don't get it. Unless it's something crunchy or clean, I do not eat near my books. My favorite way to throw a one-person reading party is by gathering a bunch of pillows or blankets, making a nice soft place, um, maybe a bed or on the floor. When, when I am by myself, I read the dialogue aloud in different character voices. I don't know how I do this, but when I picture things in books, I almost like 80% of the time, 80-90% of the time, picture exactly what's canon. I'm decent at predicting my names. I get them about maybe 7 out of 10 times. When a story ends tragically, to make myself feel better, I will imagine a better ending. My face shows exactly what I'm thinking when I read. But I really won't touch books unless my hands are thoroughly dry. I own about 130 to 140 books. When a new sequel comes out, I go back and reread the entire series. I never go anywhere without a book. I mean this genuinely. Anywhere. Never. I get genuinely panicked when I do not have a book with me. I always have an ebook, or like today I have the Hunger Games on audiobook. I carry them with me everywhere. They're, they're a great, great distraction. There you go, guys. That was my 25 bookish things about me tag. And now for the outro. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and comment down below if you have any thoughts to add. Without further ado, let us turn the page on this video and I will see you all in the next chapter. Ciao!